Hey kids, getting back from our Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we made it to the factory, we need to turn the power on. So yeah, let's go. Alright, now we have a couple elevators here. This And a couple of these little bugger things. Or no, these are the actual debuggers. Ha! And he gets cut down in his prime of his life. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Alright. Well, I can one-shot them. They can two shot. Hey, hey, zappy, zappiness. You'll do zappy. Bad, bad robot. Huh? Pop him with the butt of the crossbow. Okay. So yeah, nothing too much to worry about here. We have this little thing here that says left lab area, right factory area. And don't turn off the conveyor belt, huh? All right. Well, I guess. We shouldn't do that then. Let's go down to the factory area. Some neat stuff around here. We have this door. That doesn't seem to go anywhere. No. There's an empty door. Thanks, game. And we have these barrels here. Now these barrels, you can be moved, but you need to find the crane to move them. So let's go looking for the crane. Alright, wait. Did I want to go up top first? I think I did. Go this way, and we get a Robin bow! Hooray! New weapons for Sarah. Was it three point boost? I'll take it. Not bad. Yeah, they kind of just throw a couple weapons at her early because she has nothing else to do with them, or no, because she wasn't really in the first portion of the game to gain weapons. So it's like, hey, we feel kind of bad that. Now you want to do is you want to run down this conveyor belt, but you can't do it while there's robots on it. So you got to get down, you know, get on it, and then get off it so the robots can pass by. Hi, robot. See if I can ease up here without touching the robot. There we go. And of course, the controller decided to not let me run to the left as fast as possible, so I failed. Come on. Can make it. Oh, of course. Ugh. It's a pain in my ass. I pressed down to go down. He's like, nope. Delayed. Yeah. It's hard to make it. There's two sets of robots. There's two that are really close together like this, and there's two that are pretty far apart. And it's pretty difficult to make it anywhere with the two that are far apart because they obviously come down the line. Or... Come on! I pressed down! Ugh. Would like to get those tre that treasure chest and I need to get over there to do it. Faster. Thank you. I'm not going to make it this time either. Nope. Alright, the hell with you. And if you get caught by the robots, this is what happens. The crane comes to pick you up, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna drop you off over here, and then you're like, you son of a bitch. And we gotta kill a Proto-3. Which is quite a bit tougher than pretty much any robot you face so far. But thankfully I'm getting all these criticals again. Noxlern's laser spin, and we get rocket roll, which I believe is a, uh, no, that, I think, yeah, it's a, a combination of my cyclone and Nox's, uh, laser spin. Generally, when you get a combination in, like, when the party's already been together for a while, it's because someone just learned a new tech, and then that tech is their link to it, but, yeah. Pretty sure you guys figured that out by now. Hey, hey, no running me over. I'll report you to the DMV. Yeah, they counterattack by shooting. Hooray for shooting. But he's dead, so. Now, just gotta keep moving along. Okay, 
Okay, it's just keep throwing more at me. Like, it's gonna make me all upset. <laughs> and he's one firing the lasers. Ow. A little cyclone can't take care of. Alright, come on. Yeah, let's show off uh, Nox's laser spin. It's a cool little move. It hits anybody on the screen, no matter where they're at. Which is pretty cool, because there are a few moves in this game that actually do that. Everything else is kind of just a line or a little circle area. Or Man, we're getting hit pretty hard. Hey, stop running people over. I'll find your How's My Driving sticker and tell them you suck. God, do we have any longer attack animations? Ow. I should have had her heal, but I thought that was going to be my turn first. There you go. Five tech points. Alright, and basically you come out down here. And now it's much, much easier to get that treasure chest, which I'm going to have to go for now. Because it contains another that I probably didn't actually need. I don't know why I bothered. Aura. I like using Aura as, like, a heal because it only costs one MP, whereas his Cure Beam costs two. Alright, let's see if I can make it this way. If not, I'll just go through that entire scene again and meet you back over there. Oh, come on! Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And all that nonsense here. And we have some more of these little stupid bug thingies. Oh, it won't matter. Did they put Rob to sleep? Or Nox? I think they did. Yeah, they have the ability to put you to sleep, but I killed them anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Noxie in the level. And yeah, we're going... What is Nox's next tech? Robo-tackle, which is awesomely strong. So, like, if you wanted to grind for it, I would not blame you. So you get a mid-tonic in that chest. And in here... We have... Another mid-ether... And 400 gold. And this little computer is all like... Code 0, XA. Code 1, BB. And I got in trouble with these stupid protos. Stop running people over. Stop countering all my attacks. It's your long attack animations like that and that and that and all that nonsense and you're countering all right the dog was interrupting me Alright, there we go. Dead, 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 dead ski. Alright, rolling right along. Um, that's where you want to go. You have to go down here, or in here. And be careful not to touch either of these robots. There we go. Get another ah. other. Go away, bot. And a shelter. Hooray, shelters. You can always use more shelters. Use the crane. Enter two letters after the B. Ding, ding. XA. And it gets rid of the first barrel. That it was actually blocking your path. Uh. Alright, here comes the crane. 
I didn't want to go back in the room, I just wanted to... And BB, and there goes that. And this thing's gonna go and get rid of this barrel, and everything will be all good. Alright, come on. Any faster. Just move a little faster now. Alright, let's get back over there. Now we can go down this ladder. And the other ladder from before. The one that leads over there. And we have... A bolt sword! Hooray! You could actually have gotten one of these a little earlier if you went into that place by the Aerostone that I told you not to. X-A-B-Y. Hmm. That should be interesting. Remember that for later. I'm just going to meet you at the top uh, of the factory where those two elevators were, because that's where our next destination is. Alright, we're back. We're just going to go down this elevator. Oh, look, a save point. Use a shelter here, because we have plenty of them. There, play a shrimp piece, save up the game to get the factory ruins as a scene. And, oh, we have some more slimes. Yay, slimes. Uh, the red ones are no real stronger than... Oh, of course, right? Ah, I got two of you. Bitch. Again, pretty much all magic attacks uh, will do, you know, normal damage to slimes as opposed to this crappy, you know, single-digit damage. So you don't have to worry too much about, you know, that not being able to kill them. If Also, the bolt sword seems to do more damage because I guess that's some kind of elemental property. Hey, Sarah gained another level. Something that, uh, need a shelter to replace the one we used. And opening the hatch... Ah, but what leads down here? I mean, can we find the generator for this factory? We run into more cool robot guards, or will we just get beaten up and spit out in the machines? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.